Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam and the deer and the antelope play. Where seldom is heard a discouraging word and the skies are not cloudy all day. Home on the Range was written in 1873 by Dr. Brewster M. Higley from Kansas. This song has become synonymous with Western migration and the patriotic glamorization of how the West was won. So how was the West won? I mean, somebody already lived there, right? As European Americans began the mass migration into the West in the 19th century, they cut a path that divided the great buffalo herds of the plains. The buffalo was the life source of the plains Native Americans. This migration into their lands threatened their way of life and eventually resulted in their demise. Battles between Native Americans and Europeans and European Americans were ongoing from the 17th century until the 1890 Wounded Knee Massacre. African Americans have served in nearly every American war. Over 200,000 African American servicemen fought bravely during the Civil War. In 1866, through an act of Congress, legislation was adopted to create six all African American Army units. The units were identified as the 9th and 10th Cavalry and the 38th, 39th, 40th, and 41st Regiments. Four infantry units were reorganized in 1868 as the 24th and the 25th. The term Buffalo Soldiers dates to post-Civil War conflicts with Indians who granted the honorific to an all-black cavalry outfit. Buffalo Soldier units served in the Spanish-American War, World War I, and the Italian Campaign of World War II. It is believed that the term Buffalo Soldier originated from the Cheyenne who thought the hair of the black soldiers resembled the fur of the buffalo. The courage of the men of these black units meant not only valor in the face of physical danger, but also the spirit to stand in service to the United States, despite discrimination, segregation, and repressive Jim Crow laws. Henry O. Flipper, the first African-American graduate from West Point, served as a second lieutenant with the 10th Cavalry from 1878 to 1880. A leader among the legendary Buffalo Soldiers, Charles Young served in the segregated U.S. Army of the 19th and early 20th centuries. Young was one of few black military officers. These African Americans served in an era when racism was rampant and many, if not most, white soldiers resented taking orders from black officers. After the Indian Wars ended in the 1890s, Buffalo soldiers fought with Teddy Roosevelt and the Rough Riders in the Spanish-American War. They enforced the neutrality laws along the Mexican border, saw four tours of duty in the Philippine Islands, and battled Pancha Villa during the Mexican Punitive Expedition under John J. Pershing in 1916. When the United States entered World War I, many of the non-commissioned officers received commissions and several hundred troopers joined new units preparing to fight in Europe. The Native Americans, buffaloed and butchered, were forced out of their homelands. To this day, Native Americans suffer high rates of suicide and alcoholism. In 2012, the United States settled a $3.4 billion lawsuit for mismanaging funds from a trust fund that represented the value of Indian assets managed by the government. The settlement is named after the late Eloise Cobell, a member of Montana's Blackfeet Indian tribe.